Hey, everybody, how you doing? Let's get the back. Yeah, I like that right there. Uh. Christmas time. Yeah. Mm. I'll be all right. Thank you. Doing fine, Miss Crooms. Anybody just putting their Christmas decorations up this week? Don't be ashamed. It's all right. Is you Miss Martin? Miss Jackson, ain't nothing to be ashamed about it. You two, Reverend Reynolds. We just did ours last night. No shame at all. I got you. <laughs> hey. That's all right, Miss Clarabelle. Robinson, reach out to me. Miss Maddie Robinson, reach out to me. Dibs, I leave mine up until January the 2nd or whenever I get ready to take them down. She ain't cooking right now, Miss Halsey. She's taking a break.
warm in Houston? Miss Maddie rounds your trees up all year? All right. <laughs> eating today or what do you plan on eating or what have you eaten come on put your meals up on the chat All right, chicken and waffles. That's what I'm talking about. Shrimp and fries, the Lord Jesus. Where you list that, Mother Mary? That's nice, John Alexander. Broccoli cauliflower, zucchini beets, roasted in the oven. I'm gonna show you what I'm in. Mean. Just a little snack. I found these little things right here. They're called organic coconut bites by Creative Snacks. Creative Snacks, organic coconut bites. They have coconut, chia seeds, sunflower seeds, pumpkin seeds, a little bit of sugar. And I'm telling you, it is some kind of good. Lord have mercy, Jesus Christ. I had to stop myself 
from eating all of it. Organic coconut bites. Let me hold it down. Lord, have mercy. Good time in that chat, I love it. Miss Kathleen, I'll tell you when, when I get off the keyboard.
Gems Conference at Mother Mary's house.
go see Miss Weston again. See if she'll open up the door for me. When I come, Miss West, I'm going to try not to get kicked out with my jokes. They coming, y'all. <laughs> the jokes are on their way. Woo. Hey. Miss Weston gonna throw me out the window. <laughs> I told that joke to my daddy. He came back the next day and just kept saying, Salitly Reed. <laughs> James Glover almost wrecked our broadcast. If he had told that joke in the middle of our broadcast, I don't know if we could have continued on. <laughs> Miss White, Miss Weston from Philly. You can't be playing with nobody from Philly. You gotta go, you gotta, you gotta be cautious. I know that when I show up. But Mr. Weston got my back though, that's all. see me almost fall off my chair in that episode when he talking about something said Lintley Reed that James Lover can tell a joke boy all right here we go y'all ready hey, hey. Here we go, y'all. Here we go. Let me see, it's 156. How much more time? I ain't trying to get kicked off the broadcast too early. <laughs> Here we go, y'all. Two young.
young boys were spending the night at their grandparents' house. At bedtime, the two boys knelt beside their beds to say their prayers when the youngest one began praying at the top of his lungs. He says, I pray for a new bicycle. I pray for a new PS5. I pray for new shoes. His older brother leaned over and he nudged the brother and said, man, why are you shouting in your prayers? God isn't deaf. To which the little boy said, no, but grandma is. <laughs> After hearing about, hold on, let me get my, get my A guy bought his wife a beautiful diamond ring for Christmas. After hearing about this extravagant gift, a friend of his said, I thought she wanted one of those sporty four-wheel drive vehicles. She did, he replied, but where, but where was I going to find a fake Jeep? All right, here we go. Why did the snowman turn yellow? Why did the snowman turn yellow? Somebody said, ask the little boy over there. <laughs> Here we go, here we go. Miss White, Miss Lot Jackson says, hold on to your music ministry. I intend to do that, Miss Jackson. <laughs> All right, last one. Okay, this is, a, this is a barn burner here now. Here we go. A New York State attorney representing a wealthy art collector called his client and said to him, sir, I have some good news and I have some bad news. The art collector replied, I've had an awful day. Let's hear the good news first. The attorney said, well, I met with your wife today, and she informed me that she invested $5,000 in two pictures that she thinks will be a minimum of $15 to $20 million, and I think she could be right. The man replied enthusiastically, well done. My wife is a brilliant businesswoman. You've just made my day, attorney. Now I know I can handle the bad news. What is it? The attorney replied, the pictures are with you and your secretary. <laughs> and sit out the window. <laughs> I pray that you all have a great, great, great holiday. Amen. That God would be with you. Y'all enjoy yourselves. And I will see most of you all hopefully on Sunday night for, on, for Sunday night hymn praise in Jesus' name. Y'all take care. Get some exercise. Get some rest. And again, our prayer wall will be up tomorrow morning from 8 to 12. I love each and every one of y'all. And thank you all so much for your gifts. And Miss Mabel Robinson, if that's the same Mabel Robinson that played Yes, God is Real, please get in contact with me because I got some plans for you in 2022. You like that rhyme? I got some plans for you in 2022. Take care, everybody. <laughs>